It's eight o'clock. Oh. All right. I'm I'm working on it. Just a sec. Just a sec. I've had so much fun making today's project. That's pretty fun. Hey Heather. Woohoo. Hey Karen. Yay. Tammy. Look what I got, Tammy. Uh-huh. I'm wearing it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, Heather, I actually have a second project. You know, I always have two. But I didn't finish all. Oh, who else? Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Wait a minute now. I'm missing somebody. There's Pinky. Hey. Hey, hey. Um, yeah, so I did an extra project that you haven't seen. Is that a new band? No, it's the same one. It's the same one. But, um, yes, watch party. Please share. Tell them we're having fun. And anything can happen. Anything. All right. All right, so let me see. I'm trying to get my little comment thing up. I hate that. When you go to a live video, you still want the band. Yeah, it's it's on um, Amazon. Amer Y'all got Amazon. We got Amazon because I'm out in the country. Amazon. Okay, so a couple of things. Y'all know what happened last week, right? No cue and answer. That's right. I'm not going to say, does anybody have any you know what? Because when I did... Mm, baby Jack. Y'all, I have laughed. Karen and I laughed. Oh, we've all laughed about it. I mean, it, it was awesome. It was so, could not have been time better. And, um, oh, shoot. Anyway, so I want to show you my new friend. You know, I had grandkids here last week. Of course, y'all know that, right? Ah, he's not mine. Isn't he cute? He's not mine. He belongs to my granddaughter, but... Goodness gracious, he's this long. Yeah, he's so cute. And I want one. Actually, I told Ninja Man today I want a puppy. No, I didn't. I said I want a kitten. And he just rolled his eyes. I don't think I'm getting one. He says he's allergic, but I don't know. Right? Okay, okay. So, um, I'm trying to see y'all. There's your comments. Yes. Okay. Okay, I'm going to get, um, going to get, but first of all, I got to show you. Hey, y'all. You know how I always say on my videos, hey y'all, it's Kathy Bow, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Well, I got me a hat. Yes! And I love it. Y'all know I love hats. And um, it's flattening my hair out, but who cares? All right, so I'm going to put you up here. Um, y'all, close your eyes if you get drunk easy, because this this will do it. All right. Oh, in the back of my shirt, it says, all I need is, wait a minute, let me go this way and flip you around. There we go. It says all I need is a little bit of coffee and a whole lot of Jesus. And it's true. It's true. It's true. Okay, so y'all get to see the mess that is my desk right now. Sorry. Sorry. All right, I'm going to show you a few things. Tonight, we're going to make two cards with one stamp set. That's my goal each week. Um, is to show you the variety of things we can do with just one stamp set, okay? And let me see if I got that situated just right. Yeah, okay. This is my store. If you order anything under $150, you would use this host code. If it's over $100, you get the hostess benefits. So, I mean over $150, you get the hostess benefits. And you get a $5 you get a $5 coupon to use, oh, poo, to use next month between August 1st and 31st if for every $50 you order before tax and tax and shipping, all right? And if you join my team, which I do have a new team member, welcome Karen, yay! I wish I had like a little soundtrack to go yay or confetti or something. Um, if you join my team, it's $99, and you get, mm, I want to say it was 100 and, oh dear, I've totally forgotten now, um, 100 and, 155, $155 worth, I think, or 185 I don't know, don't hold me to it. Ask me, and I'll tell you. Okay, later, not tonight. Hey, Holly, great to see you here. So tonight we're going to use this set here and making two cards totally different. <clears throat> and I'm adding in this amazing um, folder. It's a 
textured, um, it's called a dynamic textured impressions embossing folder. Let's just call it an embossing folder, people, because that makes me a little crazy trying to say all that. Now, the difference is this one is really thick, okay? So you use a whole different combination in your Big Shot than you normally would. And if you've done stuff like this before, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, don't feel left out because, um, because it's okay. You're not, you shouldn't be left out. Okay, I had the stamp set and then I closed my book and I really got a lot to show y'all, so I gotta go fast. Hold, oh, there it is, there it is. Come back to me. Oh, poo. Hold on. That's not it at all. Just like, I don't even know. Okay, I'm not gonna show you. Okay, so here we go. These two cards, this is one, and it's so soft and sweet and countrified. Countrified. Let's see, Stardust is joining us. She's not on Facebook, but she's watching. Of course Stardust is there, Heather, because I am, and she hears my voice. Stardust loves me, and I guess that's my kitty from, uh, from another mother. Okay, we're going to make this one, and we're going to make this one. And this one features that embossing fold. Well, they both do, really. But this is so, y'all, it's so pretty. Can you see the glitter? I hope you can. Glittery. All right. So we're going to make, let's make this one first, because it's probably going to be a little more intense. Um, and all you need, you're going to need um, some um, color pencils, um, you'll want your big shot and I mean you don't have to do this background, but hello bling. I mean you're gonna wanna right Okay, so here we go. I have uh Oh this <laughs> I didn't even cut the back of my card, but y'all get the idea, right? You're gonna use an eight and a half by eleven piece of cardstock and you're gonna cut this down to this should have been the 11, so you're going to cut it down to five and a half, and you're going to score it at four and a quarter, so when you fold it over, it's it looks like this, all right? But wait, there's more. Okay, so this is going to be our layer, the black layer here. It's about an eighth of an inch from this right here, so this is five and a half by four and a quarter, so this would be um, five and... Mm -hmm, Five and a half would be five and four eighths. Be five and three eighths by four and whatever. Y'all don't make me do math. Stop it. Okay. And then you're going to put that like that. And then this is going to be our little magical piece. And it also is just, just about an eighth of an inch less on all sides. I like that because it really puts the focus on the silver, but it grounds it with the black. So there I am talking like an artist. An artiste. Okay, so I'm gonna show you. Now don't get excited about my um, Big Shot. I had a black Big Shot that came from Stampin' Up. And you know, it was it was a great Big Shot. I just like teal better. Oh, hey Sandra, so glad you're here. And um, it was a great Big Shot. It's just, you know, I didn't need an extra one and Stampin' Up quit selling them, so booyah. All right, so these are shims. This is a shim, and that's a shim, and that's the base plate. So I'm going to leave this one on. I'm going to put... Hmm, I'm going to put my um, thingy folder here, my embossing folder. And then I'm just going to put the um, cardstock in like this. Now, the, is there a right and wrong side? And by the way, this is the... Um, this cardstock is discontinued with Stampin' Up, but I don't know what we're going to get in the uh, holiday catalog that's coming out soon. This is the galvanized met metallic paper, and we had it, and I bought a bunch of it because I just didn't think it was going to come back. But, you know, we may get something like this for um, Thanksgiving, um, not Thanksgiving, but for fall in the holiday catalog. I'm watching for it. I don't know. So is there a front and back? Actually, no, but once you've cut it, you'll see a ridge along here. So I kind of call that the back. So this would be the front. And when you go to use your folder, your um, the brand right here, which is Sizzix. Now, later on, it's just Stampin' Up. If you order a new one, it just says Stampin' Up on it because um, they don't 
do business with Sizzix anymore. I don't know. I don't ask any questions or anything like that. I just say, oh, okay. So um, <laughs> you put your card stock in there and you close it, all right? So this, the part with the label on it is the front. That's the part that's going to be pushed out more. So we're going to put this here. And y'all, sometimes I have to do this more than once. Are y'all surprised? Because I don't do it right. All right, we're gonna we're gonna put it in here. Come on now. Oh yeah, like I said, anything can happen. Anything. So the dogs are gonna light up because the men are outside and they are sitting around the fire pit having cigars. Please talk to the dog. Thank you. And this is the incredible um, result you get from that from that embossing folder. Isn't that cool? Is that silver yard? Oh, cardstock? Yes, Heather, it is. It's silver cardstock, <laughs> even though it came out yardstick. I knew what you meant. Um, yes, it was the metallic that we got last year. So there we go. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, who doesn't want that, right? And you can get that same effect with the pink. See? Look how deep and detailed that is. I love it. I love it. Let me look at my time. <gasps> I need to move on. Okay. So here we go. I did leave the base over there, but here we go. We're going to put this on top of this, and I am going to use the um, Tombow Multi Glue because it's a dimensional piece here, and it just kind of does better with this glue instead of like the uh, double-sided tape that we call the snail adhesive. You know, and I found out that's not a trade name. That's kind of like Stampin' Up's name. But, you know. Um, anyway, so we're just, I'm just eyeballing it. I mean, when y'all get used to this, you can, and excuse my hands, I mean, uh, inky again. I prepare for several hours before I go live, believe it or not. Okay. So, let's see now. We have, we need to add this black and that gray. And that is over here to... Cha cha cha. Hold on, I gotta up. <laughs> Didn't I say it's over here? Did I say that? Hold on, where to put it? Oh, how about this? It's over here, y'all. Good heavens to Murgatroyd. See, my, my BFF back home, Heather. Well, I'm actually home now, but you know what I mean. Um, Heather has half my brain, and she keeps it down there in Savannah. But I mean, seriously, like, I would be looking for something, and she'd be like, it's right there. You put it right there. And she's so observant, and I'm so not. And I'm just like, oh, okay. And I realize I think I really count on her. Right, Heather? Autocorrect. <laughs> Thank you, Tammy. I just now got to look at y'all's comments. Okay, so here's the deal. Do y'all see where this, you may not see it, but it's actually cut out, okay? That's supposed to be a surprise. We can go ahead and show you. It's actually cut out off of gray cardstock. But when you first look at the card, you really don't see that because I put a gray background. Okay? All right. So here's my gray background. And now this one, if I brought it over, I can use my snail adhesive. Which, guess who didn't bring it? It's over there. All right. So here we go. Watch it show up in a minute because I don't know. I don't even know. All right. Here we go. Yada yada. Okay. I know y'all love my singing. I know you do. I know you do. Okay. So there we go. Now, we are going to... Hmm. What do I want to do first? Okay. What I want to do first is this. I want to show you this. And where's my little... Oh, dear. Here he is. Here he is. No, nope, wait. Wait. Oh, wait, there's more. See, I got a little basket over here that I put all my stuff in. And then, and then like, oh, well, I've set something somewhere. I mean, how can y'all even stand it? Here it is. Okay. So, we call this fussy cutting in sewing and in crafting. It's when you have to trim things out your own dang self because you don't have a dang die. <laughs> a dang die. Anyway, so I got a little secret. How did I get that little handle on there? Well, how, you ask? Remember these from fifth grade? We couldn't have them any earlier because we would have punched each other. 
you go punch and you put a little hole there and then you take your scissors <laughs> I'm serious y'all serious seriously got a problem over here Heather go over there and get my scissors for me oh y'all anyway you take your scissors and you go inside this little hole and all around there does it have to be perfect no I mean did I do it and is it cute yes and yes is it perfect maybe not really so by the magic of television I've got this guy and I'm gonna put him right here and I'll put Stampin' Dimensionals underneath his little tail right here underneath the back of him <laughs> here the, guess what I have <gasps> that's right I didn't put it with my stuff but I sure enough brought it over here before I'm just gonna put one right here on his tail that's his tail the Stampin' Dimensionals are little foamy octagon pieces of fabulousness is what they are. Yes, Heather, thank you. That is a cool trick. All right, but wait, before I do that, I'm going to show you about coloring this, okay? Now, I don't know if y'all can see, there's some glitter, glitter stuffy there, all right? Can y'all see that? Okay, remind me about the glitter stuff. I'll put it right here. Um, all right, so I've got markers from the um, Stampin' Right marker box. You can get these, um, and you go to the catalog and you look at all the colors, the color charts, and you can buy them by color family, or you can just buy the whole box. I think you should buy the whole box because you get a discount um, if you sign up under me, and you're going to get 20% off. Well, you would anyway, but I'm just saying, get them all at once. All right, so this guy here, I'm not going to make y'all watch me color. I just want you to see what I'm doing. So I colored this guy, this, um, this is called Rich Razzleberry. And I can never color purple without thinking of my sister, Carol. Um, she loved purple. She did. She passed away. Uh, June was two years. Yeah. Okay. And I do miss her terribly, but that's not what tonight is about. We're not going to cry about missing people. So then I just put light. I just put some green. Um, this is old olive. I love this color. It's just a good, it's just a really good green. And I just, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And then I just put lines like this and this and just kind of filled it in a little bit. Just a little, not a lot. And then I came back with this yellow. And this is called Crushed Curry. And I kind of came in like this and just kind of blended it all in. And it kind of, well, these leaves are a little more dead than those leaves. See? They, but, you know, they may, have, they may have had too much water. These could have been leaves at my house because I either overwater or I, or I underwater. And the whole thing is, if anybody sends me flowers, I just should. I should put them behind my car and run over and put them out of their misery. Because they're going to die. Okay, so there you go. And if you want more green, you come back in and you go, yeah, 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 like that. You don't have to sing that, but you can. It helps. It helps. It really does. Okay, so I'm not going to make you sit there and watch me color and cut stuff out. But as you can see, you just go trim, trim, trim. And these little, these little pieces here that stick up, you can cut them out or not. Okay, like this one I cut out. Those I didn't really, that one I didn't. It, it doesn't matter. Okay, so let's say you get the whole thing colored, all right? Well, then you're going to take your Stampin' Spritzer. Burr, burr, burr. This color is Frost White. This color is Frost White. Hi, Angela. I'm so glad you're here. Now, the Frost White, what it is, it comes in this little thing, and you put a few drops in here with some Acomahal. Now, I'm not talking about your Roman Coke. I'm talking about regular Acomahal. And you put your Acomahal in here about this much. And a few drops of this, and there you go. You've got shimmer paint. But what do you do with it, you ask? Is that what you ask? Okay. You're going to hold it like that. You're going to shake it up. You're going to hold it away and go spritz, spritz. See? And look at my hand, how shiny. See, you can even wear this out on date night. There you go. And you're just going to spritz it. And when you're done... It's going to look very shimmery. I hope that looks shimmery because otherwise I'm a lion. Okay, so you wonder, what are these dark shimmery marks? 
Well, my wink of Stella died a natural death. Poor, poor Stella. I have no idea, number one, why they call her Stella. But what I did, I mixed some of this stuff in, the frost white shimmer paint. I mixed that in with a little Akamahal and just stuck it right in my Stella. And then I could just put some defining lines in here. So can you see where I'm, I'm just going to put a few defining lines like this. So like if you want, you know, I don't know. I mean, imagine this with some Christmas cards or something where you just want some things to stand out. And um, I'm still glittery, by the way. Just saying. Okay. And I'm sure it's organic glitter, don't y'all think? I think it is. Okay, let's see. Sorry, I had to go put clothes and dryer. A task that doesn't take that long unless you're watching a live video. Then takes forever. <laughs> Me too. Hi. Okay. So now we are going to place this. Now, why am I placing this first? Because I want to be sure that I get it where I want it. Typically, we would expect... Oh, look at that. Hitchhiker. We would expect something like this to fit in the square, but... I don't fit in any squares, so I'm just going to put it like this where it stands out. It almost looks like a little window to me, and honestly, if you think about it, it would make it too busy, but you could kind of like make this a window if you wanted. All right? Uh-oh. I hear the men. The fire pit is right over there outside of my window, and it's so cool, y'all. We sit out there, and the men have their cigars, and... um. We have some friends that come over and visit, and it's just, I love it, y'all. It's called retirement, and it's a fine thing. Okay, so I've got my little stamp, eh, stampin' dimensional <laughs> on here. Oh, hey, Robin. Why fit? Oh, hey, Courtney. Date night. Yes, yes, put on your glitter for date night, and let's see. Let's see. Hey, hey, and why fit in when you're born to stand out? Exactly. And my buddy Robin and Courtney and Angel, all y'all are here. Okay, now see, I'm going to stick this kind of where it almost looks like it's inside the little thing in my jew. jew. Okay, okay, I got seven minutes to finish this card. Doing good. Okay, I've, I really value y'all's time, so I want to keep us on track. Okay, so now we, oh, we did some heat embossing before, and I'm going to show you how that works real quick. So we're going to take our embossing buddy. If you don't have a real buddy, you can buy one and you can say, me and my buddy went out and did this and just take it places. You can, I mean, I won't judge. I'm just saying you could if you wanted, you know, just so you wouldn't be so lonely. Embossing buddy, all right. I put that on there, it's just a bag of powder, I think. I don't know what's in it, but anyway, it's magic. And I put it on there because it removes a lot of the static, okay? And, oh, by the way, when I stamped, when I stamped on my, um, little can, whatever this picture, picture, I had to use stays on with that shiny paper. And that's, that's just a whole different ball game. But when I stamped this, I was able to use my regular Memento Tuxedo Black. So this is good for direct to cardstock, but when you're doing something silly like vellum or metallic papers, things like that, you want to use stays on and you clean it differently. Now some people have said don't use your photopolymer with stays on, but those people just whatever. I mean, we can't be friends because I use photo I use I use stays on with everything. Photopolymer, whatever. We can be friends, I'm just saying. Okay. Back to this. See how quick I get off. I use Versamark, which is a watermark stamp pad. It gives you a clear, a clear finish, okay? And I'm going to stamp it right here. And when I say watermark, I mean, if you think, hey, Janice, I'm so happy to see you. My goodness, I can't wait. I cannot wait. Janice knows what I can't wait for. Um, Janice, Tammy, Heather, all y'all. So when I stamp it, it leaves a watermark. Now this is pretty cool, like if you just want to raise the color of your cardstock, you leave it just like that. But then again, if you want to just impress all your friends and your buddy, all you gotta do is put some embossing powder on it. 
Cha cha cha. I'll try to have y'all a new song next week. And you're just, am I out of camera? Probably. All right, let me pull it down here. You're just going to dump it right here, back in here. Let me, and you, you take it out here and you kind of thump it. And then you, you might want to touch it up a bit or whatever, okay? And then you take your heat tool. you got to close this guy up so you don't heat up the whole stinking thing. You take your heat tool and you go, psh, and through the magic of television, I will show you what you get. <gasps> did I not do it? Surely I did. <laughs> I don't think I did it. <laughs> okay, forget the magic of television. I got to really do it. All right, hold on. Hold on. Here we go. I'm going to put a little more on there because I didn't like the way it turned out. Okay, there we go. Now we got a little bit extra on there. Close this and then, and then. I have to plug this little guy in. I'm so sorry. Please hold. Please hold. I don't even know where my plug is. Oh, right here. Okay, y'all know I moved to um, the desk in adjacent to my other desk, right? Okay, so this will just take a second. I'm going to heat it up a little bit. And then I'm going to... This, this always knocks my socks off. It is my favorite technique, y'all. I'm just going to hold the heat gun on here. Can you see it getting getting shiny white? I mean, we used to have to do this over an open flame. I kid you not. Did we set things on fire? Of course we did. See? Is that fabulous or what? Okay, can you see how pretty it is? All right. So then we're going to take this stamp, which is called the Story Label Punch. I said stamp. It's a punch. Don't You can only believe half of what I say, y'all. If, if I'm holding a stamp and I say it's a punch, well, you know. And then I'm going to go like this. Now, I want to line it up in here. You don't, you don't punch this way. It looks like you should, but you don't. You're going to punch this way. And I need to line it up in here. And when I do, I barely cut off the tail of the Y. Okay? But, hey, I got a solution for that. And, by the way, these are really cool. You close them like this, lock them down, and you can store them flat. I mean, how cool is that, people? All right. So, the little tail on the Y came off. But who even knows that the Y does not look like that? Right? This is just a little Uniball Signo brand pigment ink. It's called All That. And it's, Robin, yes, you do need another hobby. <laughs> you can do paper pumpkin. Um, to ask me about all that. Anyway, um, this is a Uniball Sig Signo. And we don't carry this, but it's my favorite white pen ever. Okay, so then I'm going to put this right here. And... I hear those men laughing. They are just giggling up a storm like little schoolgirls. <laughs> not really. They're actually laughing like gut laughing. And I'm not out there to laugh with them. So I, they can't be laughing at anything I said. All right, there we go. Boom. There's a, it's a little, it's a little sideways. Well, hold on. There we go. See? Cha cha cha! We have a new card. I love it. Except the back is not adhered to a card, but I can fix that later. I've got the tools and the techniques. Okay, same, 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 same. Okay, same set. We're just gonna do some stamping, um, and it is a twenty-nine. Woohoo! Hey, Carol from Indiana. So glad you could join us. Thank you, Heather. I love this card so much, and we can change the sentiment on here. It doesn't have to even, you know, the, I mean, it can be whatever. Um, and you can also use um, uh, dies to cut those out. Okay, so now we're going to do this one. And I don't know how much magic television I did on here, but we'll see. Because, I mean, I was like scrambling to finish this. Okay, I didn't do a whole lot of magic, but that's okay, because it's just going to take a minute. All right, so y'all saw, if you missed it at the beginning, please go back after the live. And thank you, Courtney. Thank you, Robin. 
um, go back after the live and see how I created this texture that looked like this to begin with, but then I did something special, and there you go. Don't miss it, just start over, okay? So this is the background of our card, and you can see it around the edges here, okay? This stamp kind of carries that over, don't you think? All right, there's a couple of things that I actually learned while I was doing this. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, when you go to stamp, um, I had this stamp on a wee block, just a wee, a, a little bitty block that absolutely fit it. And I could not get it to stamp a decent row. So then I said, hmm, maybe I need a bigger block. Lo and behold, I needed a bigger block. Okay, so we are going to use, I think we're going to use gray granite, or we're going to use, maybe we're using basic gray. Yeah, we're going to use basic gray, I think. I'll let you know in a minute. I'm going to stamp right, mm, I'll just go ahead and stamp over here. Stamp right there. Yeah, okay. We're going to use basic gray, and, hold on, I've already done that one. Okay. Basic gray, and, um, oh, poo. Wait a minute, that's something else I learned. Hold on. We have to stamp this first because we want to know how high up we want everything. I did find that out. I did it wrong the first time. So here we go. Basic gray. And we're just going to go cha right there. Okay. See? We're getting there. And then we're going to put this guy on. And again, this is the country home set. We did the picture a minute ago with all of this. And now we're doing the, the big canister thingy hickey. Somebody tell me what that's called. And we're putting this on top. Okay. So I've got to get my head in here. I'm sorry. Okay. There we go. It's in the it's in the thing. I used to have one of these on my porch. It was so cool. That was back in the 80s and 90s. Okay, so now we're gonna punch, I mean, we're gonna stamp this little guy. And we're just gonna come straight over here. Boof, right there, okay? And I'm gonna turn him this way because it makes it a little easier to stamp for me. And I'm going to go right here. Now, I put my eye right right here and here okay that kind of kind of lines it up i mean it doesn't have to be perfect it's a handmade card for heaven's sakes give yourself a break give yourself a milk can yes courtney yes you do you need this okay in order to what live a normal life yes exactly okay so then this is my favorite part because honestly i had not used this little stamp before it's that little metal sign on the front, y'all. It's so stinking cute. Look at that. Is that adorable? Adorable. And then we're going to say, hello. Actually, we're going to say, hello. Y'all ever watch uh, Medea? Hello. There we go. Hello. Okay, so now we got all that. And we want to have a little pink going around here. I don't know why. I case this card off of Pinterest, which means case is an acronym for copy and share everything. And I looked at the card and I'm like, cute. So I kind of just, you know, cased it. So, um, let me see. Oh, and by the way, if you want dimensions, I'm sorry, I'm, I really stink at that. But, um, but I'll try and, and remember to tell you what size everything is, okay? So please hold. All right, these are the colors we're going to use. And these are color pencils from, they're watercolor pencils from Stampin' Up. And they have, this one has like 13 colors in it. We have another set that has less, um, but they're totally different colors. All right, so I'm going to use the Calypso Coral. Let me get rid of this before I lay my arm down in it. That was basic gray. So I'm going to use Calypso Coral. And I'm just going to, you remember how we used to do stuff like this with the side of the pencil? You just kind of get a little color on like that. Go like this. And I'm really just following the shadow lines that was already created 
by whatever artist drew this to begin with. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put a little bit around here. Kinda shadowy, kinda. Okay, now the cool thing here is we're gonna take our aqua painter and y'all gotta really know this, okay? Um, <laughs> uh, I am the queen of laying my arm down and think, oh yeah, yeah, think my 11 year old and, and I would love making these together. Yes, yes, Courtney, I think so too. Okay, this is very high quality cardstock, but I'll tell you what it's not. It's not watercolor paper. So, when you use this, you don't want to just dump a bunch of water out. This has water in it, just from the sink, just regular sink water, or the swamp, whatever, whatever's easy. And <laughs> swamp water. And you're just, you see the difference now? I'm going to squeeze it on here, and you see it makes my hand really wet, okay? But then, if you just gently do like that you, you don't have a lot so I'm just gonna gently I'm not squeezing it at all I'm just gonna gently color like this just to soften those pencil lines and I will tell you this I am NOT an artist my daughter is she's an amazing artist I are not my mother was my mother-in-law was my sister-in-law Jane is but I'm not so Believe me um, when I tell you, you can do this. Okay, and you just, that's it. That's all you gotta do. Um, I'm not gonna keep going because you get the idea and I don't wanna take your time. So let's color these, all right? This is interesting because it's co cotton bowls is what they're called, B-O-L-L-S. Um, Robin, I'm gonna have to tell, move to iPad. <laughs> okay, Carol, I got my iPad and my phone going. Um, so they're cotton balls and it, and it's I, they anyway they don't have a lot of color to them they're white but I'll show you how to make them stand out a little bit so first we're going to use old olive and we're just going to color and I mean you don't have to get like crazy you can just just color them in we're not going to watercolor these we're not going to do that we're just um let's see I want this to be a leaf and that can be a leaf and this can be a leaf, and that can. Okay, and I'm like, I'm just picking and choosing what I want to be leaves. Okay, and then um, the coral. I'm gonna use the coral for this flower here so that we keep the pink going. And I'll, um, I'm not sure. I think the cardstock is Blushing Bride, but it, it might be a different pink. I get my pinks mixed up. But I'm using the Calypso Coral because I didn't want a pink pink. Um, and I'm just turning these leaves right here into a flower. Look at me being absolutely rogue, y'all. Okay, so now we've got, we have the gray. And we're going to color these funny looking things gray. Now you could do brown. You can do brown if you want. You can do brown and gray, and I'll show you. Let's see, put a little brown in there with the gray. There you go. And now on the cotton balls, what I did was, oh, hang on. I wanted to color these. I don't know what they are, but they're, they're about, that looks like little pieces of cotton there, but I'm just gonna put a little color on them just to bring them out. Cotton balls, I'm just gonna go like this with the brown and just kind of like make it look like, cause I mean, when they're out in the field, they're the, the little husk or whatever you wanna call it that they come out of, it, it does have a little shade shadow to it and you know that kind of thing so I'm just giving it a little color because I, I don't want it left completely out then we're gonna take this yellow and we're gonna go yellows right here because I have no idea what these are um, I mean I'm not the Audubon Society right okay I'm just like coloring I don't even know I don't even know ask me what I know and I'll be like I don't know all right, and then we're gonna take this, no, we're gonna use gray, and we're gonna color inside here. All right, so there we go. And it says hello on it. Hello, is it me you're looking for? Mm-hmm, I'm not even charging extra for that. Y'all just got a free song, how about that? Yes, Robin, you gotta tell Sophie. I don't know if I said that earlier. Okay, so this again is the eight and a half by 11 cut in half. This becomes five and a half by four and a quarter. When you fold it, it's four and a quarter. When you open it, it's eight and a half, all right? 
it's a standard um, standard measurement for card making. And um, guess who doesn't have their bone folder? So I'm having to use my hand, which is fine. You can do that. Nobody died. This panel here is three and a half by four and three quarters. Oh, we're doing so good on time. So good on time. We might have time for a commercial. Mm -hmm. Three and a half by four and three quarters is going to be our little background piece. And there is actually kind of like a, a schedule, scale, whatever you want to call it, that you can go by to know what size your next layer should be. My nails are full of ink. I'm so sorry. I've just been in this all day with browns and blacks and everything else designing. Isn't that just pretty? Can't we just talk about how pretty this is? I think I want to pop this one up a little bit. This one is exactly a quarter inch smaller than this one all the way around. So it's four and a half by three and a quarter instead of four and three quarters by three and a half. All right. Bing. So I'm just going to pop this bad boy up because I can. I have the power and the technology. Do y'all have any questions? Because I'm just going to slow down a little bit. Potty break. <laughs> Now, Robin, you know what happened the last time somebody took a potty break on <laughs> Thank you, Janice. And it's one stamp set, y'all. That's the thing. You can get all this effect with one stamp set. One is the loneliest number unless it stamps. <laughs> okay. So, and y'all see I used the side of my, um, I used the side of my, Stampin' Mentionals over here. Uh-oh. Okay, so the Stampin' Up um, folks got to go to Italy and Greece, and they went on a cruise, and um, clearly I'm not one of them. Um, but that's okay. That's all right. I'm not bitter. I'm not bitter. Um, so here's what's crazy. I don't know if it's my age or what, but I really got interested in the places they were looking at. So... They, um, I love me some pretty, thank you, Angela. It's really pretty, but way above my crafting ability. Robin, uh-uh, I can teach you everything. These are the easy things. I mean, well, I mean, they could be a whole lot easier, but I'm just saying. I could teach you, can I, Heather? Can I, Angela? Can I, Tammy? Can I, everybody on here? Y'all tell her. So, um, I got really interested in, um, all the places they were in in Greece. So I started looking at YouTube videos of other people's trips where they're actually giving facts about the places. And I mean, it's fascinating. It's fascinating. I thought the, um, those things in Egypt, okay, all you experts, forgive my amateur question, but are the interior thingies standard sizes as well? Um, are you talking about the layers? If you're talking about layers, Yes, and I can print you a, a little guide to go by. Because it's like, this is four and a quarter by five and a half. And what you'll do is you're going to go in a quarter inch. Thank you, Janice. You'll go in a quarter inch on each layer or an eighth. Like on this first card, I went in, I went in an, actually an eighth. And you see the difference? Now this is this is a half inch here, I think, but this um, this is a quarter, that's a quarter, this one's an eighth. So, but there, yeah, there's a. Um, <laughs> thank you, Angela. Angela, we gotta have a crafting date soon. Um, but this, yeah, there's there's a schedule. Remind me, Angela, and I'll get one to you if that was what your question was. Um, anyway, so then I tied this little bow, and guess what this came from paper pumpkin. Oh yes, it did. And I just keep using it and I love it. And I had to figure out where to put the bow. And I thought, well, that looks good. Actually, I stuck it over here and then I stuck it over there and then I stuck it there. And there we go. Um, I'm going to use a glue dot to put this bow down on. And this is just a roll of, <laughs> of gluey dots. And I've got my scary dental tool over here. Oh, guess what? I found this. Mm -hmm. Told y'all it was over here. My scary dental tool and why do I have um, washi tape on it I've got it on there to keep it from running away from me this is scary dental tool number two because I lost the first one again so I'm just rolling this up because it's a tiny little bow 
and I don't want a big dot like this. I just want a little dot, so I rolled it up into a little dot. And I actually am going to stick it on here first, right there, let go, okay. And then I'm going to stick my little bow on, and there we go. Now on the inside, if you want, you could put a piece of white cardstock here. You could put a gray one down with a white one behind, I mean on top of it. And you can put your sentiments here. Um... Yes, Courtney, you both can learn. Y'all seriously can. And um, I'm playing with markers while... Oh, I love it, Angela. Angela introduced me to the coolest thing about markers. I love it. Um, anyway, you can, you can put like a gray layer here and a white layer on top and stamp a little something in the corner, maybe one of these, and put your sentiment there if you want to. I don't usually do the inside of cards like at all until I'm ready to send them off. And um, if you're a friend of mine and you get this in the mail, um, <laughs> just act like you had not seen it before, okay? Because I will totally forget. Um, okay, so again, these were from the Country Home stamp set. I'll put this over here so you can see it. You know what? Let me, let me, just, let me just regroup for just a minute. Just a minute. Okay, and... Okay, I never did finish that. Okay, so I'll just do it this way. These, oh man, I like this one because this one's bumped up and I like that, but I think this might show better on, on TV, on the TV. Okay, Let's see if I can straighten myself up over here, y'all. All right, let's see. Yes, Heather, yes, they can do that. Have a craft day with me. Yes, I love to have a craft day. All of y'all just come on. So this was the um, country home, and I did want to show you the other the other cards you can get out of this set. Let me look them up real quick. I didn't know if I'd have time, so I saved it for the end. Page ninety five. This is our um, twenty nineteen twenty twenty. Um, annual catalog, and it just came out. I think it was June 1st, and I've almost worn this out. So here's another one. So you can use that spray at the top and at the bottom and color it. I mean, how cute. That is That is this stamp right here. And you see how they used yellows and greens? Very pretty. You can take just the cotton and cut it out and make, make the, I mean, this picture right here is like an orange color. That's kind of cool. And then they've used, um, they've used what? It looks like just this part here they've used to create that. So many things you can do. This one set is $21. It's on page 95 of the annual catalog. And I'll tell you this, um, we are going to have our holiday catalog coming out very soon. And those of you on my team, um, which includes um, Janice and, uh, let's see, Janice and Karen, and I'm trying to see if anybody else in here is on my team. Anyway, y'all will be able to access that catalog online in a week or so. Um, check the Stampin' Up! site and we'll be able to see everything. Um, the people that went to, um, to Greece, they've already gotten it and they've been sharing um, little sneak peeks. And I'll tell you what, y'all, it's adorable. It's adorable. So y'all, I hesitate to say, does anybody have any questions? Because <laughs> of what happened last week. If you weren't here last week, y'all need to go look at the other one. It was a hoot at, I think it was 49 minutes, 30 seconds, something like that. So it looks like we're going to finish early tonight, y'all. Thank you so much for joining me. And I know I went a little fast because I thought these would take a lot longer. But in fact, they did not. So yay! Don't forget um, my store, and am I am I straight here yet? Let me see. My store. Thank you for the love. Thank you, thank you for the love. My store is here. You want to use this code if you're going to order under $150 worth. If it's over $150 worth, then you definitely want to. You definitely want to. Um, 
go in there and make a separate order so you can pick out your hostess orders. Um, and then right here, go to my kathybow.stampinup.net and you can pick up all the goodies. All the goodies. Okay? And if you need any help, all you gotta do is call me. Check with me. Ask me. Send me a note. Whatever you want to do. Text me. Most of y'all got my phone number. Okay. Thanks so much for joining me and I really appreciate you guys. Love y'all. Mean it. Toodles.